This is Math 88, Section 4.3. We're going to talk about writing numbers in scientific notation. And before we do, I just want you to think about multiplying by 10. So, for example, if I go um, 5 times 10, it's a pretty in interesting and um, simple multiplication. It's 50. Or 5 times 100, 500. Notice that every time we multiply, and 100 is, is 10 times 10, like two tens. Every time we multiply by 10, uh, we can think of, sometimes in elementary school they talk about you're tacking on a zero. We're also um, moving the decimal place over one. Like that's, that's five point, right? So five times 10 is boop, a five, and the decimal place has been moved over once. Or five times 100, it's been moved over twice. And thinking about that, like 10 to the third, that would be three tens multiplied together. So it would be like that. Or 10 to the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. Ten to the fourth, it's going to go this way because you're dividing by ten four times. So one, two, three, four. Th knowing that it sets you up for scientific notation really well. So scientific notation are numbers that are written in some form. Uh, A, like some number, times ten to some power. And this number, A, is always um, between zero and and 10. No, it's not. I take it back. It's always between 1 and 10. So this is always a single digit, like 3 point something or something like that. So it's always a single digit followed by a decimal point. Let me give you an example. If I had 8.722 times 10 to the third, that is written in scientific notation. This is my A right here, times 10 to some power. Now, you, you usually wouldn't write in a number like this in scientific notation. Yeah, this number is pretty small for scientific notation, or, or not small enough, maybe. But basically, I'm just using it to illustrate the point. Notice we're taking this number and multiplying it by 10 three times. So what that does is that moves that decimal place three places to the right. And if I do that, and I have 8, and the point was here, so 1, 2, 3, with the decimal point at the end. So this in scientific notation is equal to that. Think of it this way, you have some number where it's a single digit point, some other stuff, and then times 10 to the, and the 10 the part tells you to move the decimal place so many pieces places. This is usually used for really large numbers that it's not convenient to write, um, write out. So like if I had something like this, 6.325 times 10 to the eighth, this is telling me to grab that decimal place and move it to the right eight places. So 6, 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this 6.325 times 10 to the eighth is that number right there. You can insert the commas or not. Uh, remember those are happen every three. Um, so that's the, that's the basic idea of scientific notation. Now it could go the other way. And, and by that I mean like if I had 3.275 uh, times 10 to the negative third, this is dividing by 10 three times, just like this one up here. So your decimal point in this case is going to move to the left. One, two, three. And we'll fill in the rest of the points with zero. So this would be point one, two, three. The decimal place was moved. Two, seven, five. This is a simple way to write this. Again, scientific notation is written, is used for like really small numbers or really large numbers. So you don't have to tack on all these extra zeros. Let's do a couple more examples here. If I had the number, uh, this one right here, 7,350,000, and I want to write it in scientific notation. So I know scientific notation is always going to be one, the first leading number and then the decimal point. So this will end up being 7.35, and I don't have to write all the zeros, times 10 to the, now the question is, how many places would I have to move the decimal place to make this equal this? And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the 6th. Here's another example. If I had something like uh, 62 billion, 900 million, how would I write that in scientific notation? Same idea. Single digit, then the rest of it. So. 6.29, I don't need the trailing zeros, times 10 to the, how many places? 3, 6, 9, 10. 
So see how they're grouped in three. So three, six, nine, and then one more would be ten. Ten to the tenth power. Or if I had something like point uh, eight five three, wanted to write it in scientific notation. Well, I know it's going to be eight point five three because it's always single digit than the rest times. Notice that it only moved one place, so it's ten to the negative one. Last example, point zero 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 two five seven. Um, if I want to write this in scientific notation, it would be the decimal point would be here, so it would be 2.57 times 10 to the how many spaces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. So if it's a number that's really small, it's going to have a, a negative exponent. If it's a number that's big, it's going to have a positive exponent. All right, give those problems a try. Let me know what questions you have.